you. Well, of course, this is a very familiar face around the world. And for us here on Good Morning Nigeria, once again, delight to have you. Nigeria's drive towards the use of what is commonly referred to as auto gas. Is this ambitious or is it the way to go considering the energy issues around the world today? Uh, yes, thank you. It's good to be here again. Uh, I believe it's something that uh, is not ambitious. Uh, it's, it's not going to be easy, but yes, it's something that has to be done for at least three reasons. Number one, in 2016, Nigeria uh, was one of the 196 countries that uh, uh, signed the Paris Accord. This is an agreement to mitigate the uh, emissions of uh, harmful gases, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and methane, so as to slow down global warming and even maybe reverse it. Uh, so the traditional uh, fuels, petrol and diesel, contribute to this uh, harmful gas emissions. So it has to be uh, uh, stopped or, or lessened. Uh, and then Nigeria has huge reserves of gas, uh, the seventh in the world, uh, the largest in Africa, that we're currently underutilizing. So we need to leverage that uh, fuel source to power our economy. And then health-wise, uh, diesel and petrol, they release not only the harmful gases, but also uh, fine particulates that are as a result of those, ga those uh, fuels being burned within the engine. And those are harmful to the lungs and to the overall health of a nation and its people. So at least for these three reasons, Nigeria has to leverage these huge amounts of gas uh, to power our vehicles and power our economy. We, we understand that some cars come with you know, probably closed valve, which, you know, makes it easier for conversion. Others do not, you know. What, from your experience, might be the technical um, imperatives involved in, in this type of initiative? Yes, well, our agency, the National Automotive Design and Development Council, our core objective is to develop the local automotive industry. That is to, uh, to promote the production and assembly of vehicles within Nigeria. So as we support the conversion of vehicles, uh, even those that would be hard to do it and address the technical uh, challenges, we're also promoting the production and assembly of brand new vehicles that would run on gas or gas and diesel or petrol. Um, some, like I mentioned earlier, uh, petrol and diesel burn dirtier than gas. Gas is a cleaner fuel. Uh, it has less particulates. Uh, so it's easier for an engine to handle that. So we will work with stakeholders to ensure that these technical challenges are identified and addressed. You know, I asked the question because I understand that you probably will have to, in, in, in converting to you know, auto gas, mm -hmm. you, you would have to, of course, uh, have a, maybe another tank installed Mm -hmm. somewhere in the car, yes. either where you have your spare tire or somewhere in the, bo in the boat or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now that is one. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's an issue. You also have to be careful with the piping. Mm -hmm. You also have to be careful with, um, in terms of, you know, the, the mileage that mm -hmm. the, the car will cover. So are mm -hmm. these not issues that are involved in, in this kind of a, uh, initiative? They have to be addressed and that is why yeah. we're working towards uh, training. Uh, to really bring up that capability across the country. Uh, we currently have uh, training uh, uh, programs going on by the NADDC, and we're all also almost complete with the construction of seven training centers, which we would uh, lean towards uh, auto gas conversion and also bringing up that uh, capability within uh, technicians to know how best and how to be most effective in those conversion uh, uh, activities. Uh, I believe it's a technology that yes, the country can handle, uh, but it needs a certain level of expertise. And that is why we'll be working with stakeholders to build that necessary capability within the country. All right, uh, Jalali Aliu, thank you very much.